Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to look at something slightly different. We're going to be looking at a game called Spirit of the Island. So I saw it on my recommended because I play a lot of Dinkum on my Steam page. So I thought I'd give it a go and check it out. And to be honest with you, with the small amount of gameplay that I had, I am really enjoying this game. It's along the same genre as Dinkum. There is a little bit more of a survival aspect to the game, but it's definitely something I'd be excited to play more. So if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know down in the comments down below if you would like to see me continue to play this game and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and chuck that notification bell so you don't miss any more content so without further ado let's get straight into it okay so it seems like the backstory is it's time for us to venture out on our own and grow up a little bit so you have basic human needs like hunger thirst and fatigue keep a close eye on them so you don't slow down because of those reasons check your stats with tab whenever you can Oh, interesting. Okay, so there was definitely a bit of a survival aspect to it. One last tip before I let you go. Explore the island, interact with objects when you can. Objects that you can interact with will display an icon next to it. Use interact to do it. No problem. As a first task, try and find your home. Follow the road and go northeast from there. So, so far, first impressions. I do like the look of this game, I must say. So what have we got? We've got some water, we've got a knife, and we've got some apples. So we've got our little stats down at the bottom by the looks of it. Follow the right to north to reach Kryptonite's lands. If you go south, you will reach the pier. So we can go south to the pier. Where have we got here? History house. Learn about your own history. Let's go and learn about our history, shall we? Oh, okay. So it looks like... We don't have any of these items as of yet. Definitely seems like there's a lot to do in this game so far. So let's head up north then, see what we can see. So we'll have a look at our stats. So you will gain experience points while doing many actions, like chopping a tree, discovering new places, speaking with people, and many more. Two types of experience points, overall and skill pace points. Oh, okay. That sounds good. So overall means how famous you are in the world. The more famous you are, the more tourists will become attracted to the town and your property, but also more means more pirates. Ah, so there seems to be some sort of enemies in this game as well. Skills are a point in game when you do actions or interact with objects people. For example, if you chop a tree, you'll gain points for foraging. But if you discover a new location, you'll gain points for exploration. Each new skill level will loot new items, recipes, or actions. Okay. So There's definitely a progression-based game as well, which I definitely like that aspect. So by the looks of it, foods and items can expire. And we've got skills. So we've got farming, mining, foraging, cooking, fishing, crafting. Oh, electronics as well, okay. Different and interesting. All right, so first impressions. I'm definitely excited to get into this game a little bit more. I'll definitely be up for continuing to play through in this. If I remember rightly, it said go northeast to follow. I'm guessing this must be it. This must be a place, what a mess, but the house looks like it's in one piece. I wonder why my parents wanted me to come here. That is a very good question, and it's a question hopefully we'll find the answer out to. If I remember correctly, find the house and make it my new home, and then look for the elder. She is responsible for a local town round. Perhaps I could use this to get started and fix this mess. Also, maybe it'll be good to find something to eat and drink soon. Definitely will be. Let's get the letter and take a look around. Let's get to know the town. Okay, so this is your home. It's a little bit rusty and dirty now, but with time, you'll be able to upgrade and create new furniture and machines. Here you can build your own farm, shops, and much more. Make sure it becomes a beautiful place for us to visit. When you get tired, you'll have to sleep. You have one bed already. Remember, you need to sleep to rest. Every time you sleep, the game will be saved. And if you have a good sleep, you may gain positive buffer, where your energy will vanish much faster for some hours. The same happens if you eat a good meal. Well, I'm definitely interested to see what we can do here. What have we got over here? Need some kind of key to open it. So let's have a look at the workbench then. We've got some nails, cloths, which are made from wool. So yeah, definitely got quite a big um, crafting aspect to this game. Collect earth for the crops and explore the island, find the pier. Oh, new location, discovered home. So that's our bed that we need to sleep in. Definitely looking a bit run down. Okay, so let's find some earth then for our crops. I reckon over here would be a good place to start. Let's see what happens when we dig the ground. Oh, so when we dig the ground, we just collect earth. And we need to also collect 15 stone as well. So we've got 
quite a bit of earth. Oh, we also got a worm as well. So let's see if these will give us stone, shall we? I'm guessing this will give us stone. Yeah, we definitely got some stone out of that, so that's good. Let's finish off mining all of these, clear some room as well. We need to find the pier as well, so let's head on down to the south and try and find the pier. Oh, what have we here? Spiky crabs. Ah, oh, we can take these on. I think we should be alright. Yeah, we've got that sorted. So hopefully down here should be the pier somewhere. Did say to the south. Oh, we found the pier. Well, let's give this a little bit of investigation to see what the pier holds. Oh, okay. So we've leveled up and we've gained some more reputation. Go to the East Beach. Let's see if we can destroy any of these. Doesn't look like we can. Can we get rid of this lot? Nope. There doesn't seem too much here at the pier then. Oh, okay. What's this? Ah, so this is where we can have a boat. So we haven't got one at the moment. That's good to know. Well, it's getting late now, so I think we should head back and rest and do some more exploring tomorrow. Okay, so there should be a build menu. Yes, there is a build menu. So we press B and it gives us a build menu like this. So we've got workstations, resources, farm, a farm crop. There we go. Prepare the earth for a crop. You can plant seeds after that. Okay, so I think we should just pop it over here for now. Just so it's nice and easy to get to. So collect some lettuce seeds. Okay, so how do we go about collecting lettuce seeds then? Do we just keep digging? Oh, looks like we've found something over here. Oh, who's this? Tony. Be careful, there are some nails on the ground. I'm trying to fix the bridge. I don't know what happened. Sorry to not look at you. If I drop this now, we may have a bigger problem. Tell you what, if you bring me some materials, maybe we can finish faster. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we need a 15 wood plate, four rope. Okay, so let's see what else we can craft then. So we need some duct tape, which we need some fat and some plant fiber from. And we also need some wood plates, which is the wood logs. So that should be easy enough to get hold of. I think we need to clear some room in our inventory first. Okay, so let's grab some logs. Guessing we can just um, grab some logs from this one over here, maybe. And let's chop this one down and see what it gives us. Yeah, we got three logs from that. Ah, uh, so you get plant fibers from the little plants that are on the floor. That's good to know. So is that what these give? Broccoli seeds? Ah, uh, so you get seeds from these little plants by the looks of it, which is uh, definitely interesting and handy to know. Could kind of do with some sort of storage chest or something like that. I seem to be running out of room quite a lot. So what have we here? Cauliflower seeds, lettuce seeds. We found lettuce seeds eventually. Oh, we've got some lettuce seeds, so let's plant them down. There we go. We pop down our lettuce seeds. Now let's give our plants a water. That's easy enough. So farming seems easy enough to get to grips with, so that's nice. So we need 15 wood plates for rope for the town. So I think we're going to need some more trees to chop down. So let's see what other trees we can chop down. Can we chop down one of these? We can. See how many logs this gives us. Seven wood logs, so definitely worth chopping these ones down then. That should give us enough uh, wood logs. What have we here? We seem to have dropped a load of stuff down here. I'm not sure what that is. So let's drop the wheat seeds for now. Oh, the worms. Okay. So we just close craft a load of worms for some reason. So we'll do the wood planks first. We'll go for 20. We can craft a whole load of them. And then we just need a whole load of plant fibers now. Okay, so I think while all that's crafting, I think now would be a good time to leave the video there. 
Um, so far, my first impressions of this game, I actually do quite like it. I like the different aspects of it, and I'll be definitely interested in exploring more of the aspects of the game. It looks like it could be really fun to play, but let me know down in the comments down below if it's something you would like me to continue playing. I would definitely be interested to know your thoughts, and I'll be sure to do some more videos on it if you're all interested. But don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button and push that notification bell so you don't miss any more content. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.